Hello. Today we will see what is medoid, what is centroid, and how it is related to mean, median, and north star. So, medoid is used in K medoids clustering algorithm of machine learning. So, in this case, we divide our observations into multiple clusters depending on the medoids. So we will see what are medoids, how to calculate them, and how they are related with mean and median. <coughs> so I start in R Studio. This is a simple vector in one dimension. And I calculated this is the mean of that vector, and this is median of that vector. This is very simple calculation. There is nothing to explain about it. Only I want to emphasize two points. When it's the point of median is the nearest point from mean in one direction, and there may not be any point where the mean exists. So with these two points in our mind, we will continue to do same thing in two dimensions or multiple dimensions. So I took the empty cars data set and I plotted miles per gallon versus displacement as a scatter plot. And then I calculated mean from both directions. So I get a point which is in center, which is called a centroid for two dimensions or multiple dimensions. It is called mean for one dimension and it is called centroid for multiple dimensions. So I get this point centroid and there is nothing, no member of that vector exists here. But this is the nearest nearest member of the vector. So this is called medoid. So I will just go to the concept. If it is one dimension and we call it mean, in it is multiple dimensions, we call it centroid. For so if we calculate median in one dimension, it is called medoid in multiple dimensions. So how to calculate this medoid mathematically? This type of medoid and centroid can be calculated not only in two dimensions or three dimensions, but in multiple dimensions, even more than three. So to calculate the medoid, we need this formula. This is called a Euclidean distance. Euclidean distance is a direct distance between two points in all dimensions. So I calculated a distance from this centroid point to every member of the vector. So this is uh, my data set with miles per gallon and displacement vectors. These are scaled. So you are seeing all zero values or values very near to zero, even negative values because it is scaled with a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. So I calculated all the distances, Euclidean distances between the centroid and all values. And I took the minimum distance. And at that minimum distance, this Hornet 4 drive vehicle exists in the data set. So with same uh, scatter plot as we seen earlier, I just added these labels. And so we can see that Hornet 4 drive exists where we called it as a medoid. So this is our previous graph. The medoid is here, which is Hornet 4 vehicle. So we can prove it mathematically, not only visibly, that the member which is nearest to the centroid is called as a medoid. And I will go through one concept uh, to explain what the medoid is. So this is sun, this is earth, it rotates on the axis. And if we look in the sky from north hemisphere, we see this Polaris or North Star. Now this is a photograph created by keeping the camera shutter open for a few hours to get the path of every star. And we can see that as earth rotates, the star moves in a circular direction. But is if we see at the center, at exactly center, the star doesn't exist at that point. But this is a star which is called Polaris, 
or north star which is nearest to this centroid point so the star polaris can be called as a medoid because it is the nearest member of our vector which is present nearest to the centroid point why we need this medoid concept because in many times there is we cannot see what the centroid is means there is no any visibility for that so we need some member so we choose the member which is nearest to the centroid and which is called as a medoid so i think you got the concept clear what the medoid is and uh, i think it will be helpful for understanding how this um, uh, clustering with k medoids works so if you like the video please subscribe thank you